Hey guys, it's me, Miss Pilbang. I have been getting a lot of questions. How's my life here in Bangladesh? And how it is being married to a Bangladeshi man? So for those who planning to marry a Bangladeshi man, please take, please take note these few things that I have learned for my 15 years here in Bangladesh. And, and this is my personal experience and my personal learning. I am not generali generalizing all Bangladeshi men. <laughs> okay? Number one, do not marry a Bangladeshi man if you want to be a princess at home. Because even there is a housemaid, you have to do the household chore like cleaning and cooking. Speaking of cooking, you must learn how to cook Bangladeshi dish because you cannot feed them with the food that you usually eat. Like me, I came from Philippines. So I cannot feed my husband like bagoong or adobo. Though he eats Filipino food, but not all the time. Number two, do not marry a Bangladeshi man if you are not ready to have a joint family. Because mostly in Bangladesh are joint family. Even your husband's brothers is already married. They are still lit. They are still lit together in the same roof. Bangladeshi men, they are really love their mother and family. So be be ready on it if you marry if you want to marry a Bangladeshi man. Okay? <laughs> Number three, if you marry a Bangladeshi man, make it sure you want to make it sure you're willing to convert the religion. But not totally all Bangladeshi men force you to convert the religion. Only if you must respect the religion. Okay? Number four, do not marry a Bangladeshi man if you can eat spicy food. Because usually Bangladeshi Bangladeshi food is spicy. They put a lot of spicy in their dish, like turmeric, coriander, chili powder. Number five, do not marry a Bangladeshi man if you don't want to wear the dress the way they dress. Because mostly, mostly Bangladeshi women here, they don't wear short pants and sleeveless. They wear shari and kamis. Sometimes they cover their face, they cover their hair. Last but not the least, do not marry a Bangladeshi man if you are not open to learn their language. If you are lazy to learn Bangla, uh, don't think about yourself. Think about the future. What if if you want to have, if you will, if you want to have a kids in future, you have to bring your kids to the hospital to the school. So you have to speak Bangla, right? It's not it's not the people of Bangladesh. It's not the Bangladesh. Which will or who will just adjust for you? It should be you who need to adjust to your new world. Okay? Oh girls and Bangladeshi men, I hope I have not offended anybody and any of you with my video. This is just only according to my experience. I am not saying that you have, have that you have really have those things. It depends on you guys. It's a matter of adjusting towards each other culture and love conquers all. Okay? So, thank you for watching.